Hi, this is Mrs. Han. I'm going to go over the RNA and protein synthesis gizmo. Uh, before we start, I just wanted to um, review uh, protein synthesis and um, just kind of go over the slideshow that you um, saw earlier. And basically, you know that DNA is in the nucleus of the cell, um, but it cannot uh, travel out of the nucleus to where the proteins are made. So what um, happens first is that mRNA copies a little portion of the DNA, and mRNA carries that code out of the nucleus into the rib uh, to the ribosomes, which is like a protein factory. And there, um, the code is read, and proteins are made, and proteins are chains of amino acids. So it's kind of like if you went to the library and wanted to get a recipe for um, a dish, but they won't let you check out the, the cookbook. So what you could do is you could take a picture of the recipe and, and then bring that picture over to your kitchen and read the recipe and go ahead and make the dish. So that's sort of how um, that works. And if you look right here, it's um, the process is um, two parts, transcription, where the RNA copy is made from DNA. So here's the DNA. And, and RNA is uh, a copy of part of the DNA. And then translation is where the RNA then goes over to the ribosome and um, a protein is made. So here's the protein. Um, here's another picture of it. The DNA kind of unwinding. RNA makes a copy of a little segment. RNA comes out over to this big thing called the ribosomes. And um, the way that the mRNA is, um, is read is by these tRNAs. These tRNAs come and read the code three letters at a time, and the tRNA brings um, an amino acid. And as the tRNA lines up, the amino acids are linked together and a protein is formed. So that's the basic process, and we're going to do that on our gizmo. So um, if you look at the instructions, it's... Um, Here's some prior knowledge questions that you can answer. And then in the warm up, um, it gives you some information about DNA that hopefully you're familiar with. And the bases, these are the four bases. It tells about RNA bases, which are almost the same except for one difference. And here you can, you can look at this picture and say whether it's DNA or RNA by looking at the information above. And then RNA polymerase, that ending ASE, ASE tells you it's an enzyme. And um, so here it says to drag the RNA polymerase and see what happens. Okay, so you can see that it's starting to kind of unzip the DNA molecule. All right, so activity A, it says to um, drag the RNA polymerase, and we've already done that. And we're going to start... Um, we're going to start copying one side of the DNA. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. Um, and here you can read about how to pair it up, um, what RNA um, base bonds with thymine. And so this is the first one we have to pair up. And if you look at the shapes, you can sort of figure out it's A. And from your notes, you should know that A and T um, bond. And so here's another one. Um, so we know this should be A and T, but RNA doesn't have any T's. So we have to um, find a U. Okay. And then here we need to figure out which RNA bond bonds with C. And I'm going to pause it while I finish. Okay, I finished my chain. I'm covering it because I want you to do it by yourself. And then I'm going to click continue. All right. So now um, my RNA chain is, is um, coming over to the ribosome. This big purple thing is the ribosome. And these tRNAs are going to come bringing the right amino acid. So I need to figure out which tRNA is going to bond with this um, group of three, which is called a codon. So you're going to have already answered these. 
Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do so that whole uh, activity A was all um, transcription. Okay, so where mRNA is making a copy of the DNA. Now we're going to do translation where we're going to read the mRNA and make a protein. So here it's going to ask you what are the codons? So these are the codons, UAC, AUG, CUG. And you're going to try and figure out what, which anticodon is supposed to go here. Okay, so these are the anticodons. And um, so we know U matches with A, and A matches with U, and C matches with G. So which one would match that one. Is that the one we need to buy? Um, so, hmm. uh, maybe it's this one that we need to match. UAC? Okay, maybe it's not that one, it's this one. All right, okay. So then we're going to finish um, by matching the next ones. And as you match the next ones, you'll notice that these little amino acids link up and form a protein. Um, and then you'll have the final one will be the release factor, and then you will, um, it will release the protein. So I'm going to pause and do it. Okay, so now after the release factor, my amino acids are linked together, and, um, and then I'm going to press continue, and then this is showing my final protein. And of course, this is a teeny tiny uh, protein because proteins are usually uh, lots and lots of amino acids long. So that is um, just a very not representative uh, amino acid. Okay, but um, you can sort of see how that was made. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do the, the steps one by one and um, answer the questions, and then it says conti uh, continue. So it says, yeah, most proteins are hundreds of amino, amino acids. Then you're going to answer this question, and you're going to summarize what happened in transcription, what happened in translation, okay? And if, you've, if you're not quite sure, you can go back to the notes in the um, slideshow and just um, summarize that, okay? For the extension, you don't really need the gizmo. You're just going to be using this chart, and you're going to see how um, see how each each of those uh, three letter codes brought a different amino acid, and that's how it ends up making different proteins by the code. So um, this is kind of uh, the code on chart and shows what amino acid is brought by which um, codon on the mRNA. So if we look, AUG, right here, AUG brings the amino acid methionine, which is actually the start amino acid, tells it's kind of all the amino acids start with that one. Um, and, and so you'll put methionine, or you could put meth. CUG, you're going to look that up and see which amino acid does that bring. And then, um, and then this is the opposite. If you wanted um, a protein that was going to be methionine, asparagine, valine, and histidine, what is an amino acid, what, what is an mRNA sequence that would code for that? Um, go ahead and answer this question. How do genes determine the traits? Okay. And again, you might look at what is a gene? What does it code for? And how does that become traits? Okay. And then you can answer these questions. Um, you know, if you notice some different, um, uh, codons will, will code for the same amino acid. 
So you could have ACU, ACC, ACA, and ACG. They all bring threonine. And so if there is maybe a mutation and ACU turns into ACC by accident, you know, would that make a difference? And then you can answer this last question. Okay, I hope that helps. And if you have any other questions, please reach out to me.